today they are debating uh, the topic, fake news is real. Um, I'd like to welcome Heather, Dan and Ben from CFM and Millie, Lockie and Ruby from PVC. <laughs> to welcome the affirmative to begin the debate. First of all, I'd just like to point out the uniform violations over here. So Kennedy and McCullough, could you please get on that? That'd be great. <laughs> um, fake news is real. News is defined as, by the Oxford Dictionary, newly received information or no newly received or noteworthy information, especially about recent events. Fake news or alternative facts, as coined by Trump, sells to its audience. These alternate facts draw the audience's attention into the article and compel them to create conversation and hype around the subject and issue. And if the news is fake, this can create problems for both the individual and society. We all know that fairly recently, Rebel Wilson won her legal battle for compensation for defamation against Boyer Media and received a hefty payout of about $4.5 million. I doubt a judge would have awarded Wilson with such a payout if, in fact, Fake news was not real, and all comments made in the article were valid. Hey. Good morning. But is it a good morning, ladies and gentlemen? It's a terrible morning. The weather is awful. I'm about to embarrass myself in front of 300 people. I'm really hungry. Nothing is going my, my way right now. It is not a good morning, and this is what we on the negative team are going to try and convince you of over the preceding two minutes, that information is information. There is always news. There is no real news. There is no fake news. There is merely news, ladies and gentlemen. I'll give you another example. You, sir, what's your name? Right there, not looking at me. What's your name? Mitch. Who's the best looking girl in school, Mitch? Uh, Phoebe. Phoebe. Where's Phoebe? Is that, that, is that your girlfriend? Well, she will be soon, bro. Well played. But just because Mitch thinks Phoebe is the best looking girl in school, that does not make it true, that does not make it false, that doesn't make it real, that doesn't make it fake, that merely makes it news. There is no true news, there is no fake news, there is merely information and it's up to you to interpret these specious and spurious facts as you paint the rich tapestry of life, ladies and gentlemen. Mitch, I'm definitely going to hook up with Phoebe after this well played. Game. That's our case, ladies and gents. Don't let them twist and turn and centrally massage the definition of news in front of your very eyes. The negative team, they're a bit confused. So I need to point out some of their fallacies from the argument we just heard. First of all, the scapegoat fallacy. The quality of the day and the weather has nothing to do with fake news or this debate in general. Now, he stated that news is an opinion. It is not an opinion. News is meant to be factual. Now, over the past few days, I know I've been talking a lot of smack on your show, but now it's time I bring the facts. Never on your show do you preface a story as false. You sell it as truth. Just yesterday, you exemplified the real world problems of fake news as you told your listeners that Morgan Freeman had died. Is that real journalism? I don't think, I don't think so. During the 2016 election, Donald Trump coined the phrase of fake news to manipulate facts and dismiss the stories he didn't support. Fake news has had catastrophic impacts on the United States last year, and you don't have to look very far to see that. Just think about the person occupying the White House. Although Donald Trump loves some double standards and introduces the idea of alternative facts, a way for him to lie to the American people but justify the deception. Fake news is a real thing causing real world issues on your radio show, on the internet, and from the White House itself. And that is an undeniable truth. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Talking on Morgan Freeman, one, that's in Scoop Plus, so that's gossip. Two, I asked the question about Morgan Freeman. And the thing is, Morgan Freeman, yes, he is going to die. So there we go there. News, everybody. Is there fake news? There's no such thing. It's just news. And the reason why is I can Googleize stuff too. And what makes a story newsworthy? Timing, significance, proximity, human inter interest and prominence is what makes news. Now, let's be honest. And you said about opinions and what's Caitlyn Jenner at the moment? What's Bruce Jenner? In society, it, biologically, he's a man, right? Is he a man or a woman? 
But society accepts that he's a woman. He can go to the woman's toilets. He can do things with ladies. He can do dress up, do what he likes. But true or false, is he a man or a woman? Society, it depends what we choose is news. Is it true or false? Doesn't matter. It's what we accept. It is the timing. It's the significance. It's the proximity. It's the human interest and the prominence. That's what makes news. Not true, false. There's, these are the guidelines. It's in your Google. So check it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. Do you want a chip? <laughs> so, as Speaker 1 of the negative team was saying, there is real news and there is fake news. Real news being news that is true and false news being news, fake news being news that is false. The first speaker on the negative team has used appeal to humour and very, very fast talking so that you, the audience, can't even understand what he's saying and thus <laughs> cannot see the very, very, very flawed logic of the argument. Speaker two. You said that you weren't committing, your news was not fake because the question about Morgan Freeman being dead was just gossip. Could you not then argue that gossip is fake news? This doesn't mean that fake news does not exist. I have nothing else to say about the other team because there was literally no substance in their argument that I could <laughs> criticise. Well, our first speaker proved that fake news is formally recognised by the legal system, meaning that it must exist. Our second speaker proved that fake news can be used by extremely influential people to deceive entire countries. People trust news media because they have no one else to trust, but fake news and the omission of news results in tyrannical media and unknowing societies. Thank you. Okay, first of all, I would like to point out that these guys have just basically acknowledged the fact that they believe in something called fake news and real news. Just by specifically arguing today that fake news exists, they are acknowledging that there is such thing as real news. Now, I would like to take one very solid factual piece of information. Michael Jackson is in fact dead, not Morgan Freeman. He will die though. Eventually, not right now. I mean, he might have. I don't know. He could be. Dead now. No, he could be. I mean, exactly. It's not fake news. We don't know. But my point is this: Michael Jackson is dead. How he died? We've been told those pieces of information that it's got something to do with his doctor. Sure, that's great. Very good. But here's my point: emotionally, we will attach a piece of relevance to any news article we read. So it doesn't matter whether or not something is true or something is false. Please stop eating. I'm making a point. <laughs> this is basically me in the studio anyway. It doesn't matter whether or not an article is actually true or false because you will attach your own emotional relevance to that article and you will decide for yourself if it's true or if it is false. Therefore, there is no such thing as fake news. There is no such thing as real news. There is just news. And taking the term fake news from someone like Donald Trump is very concerning and turning it into a debate. Now, I would like to turn this conversation over to Dan Anstey for the final comment. <laughs> Mate, you better have a good final comment. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're wrong. Okay, bye. No, no, no.